Hey Encounter Fam, this is Nicole here and we have day 14 of our prayer and fasting and we have a don't keep your answers waiting for today. So uh, during this prayer and fasting time so far, I'm sure that you have made great strides in your mind, your heart, your body, and possibly in your relationships and then most important, um, even in your awareness with your relationship of God, who is the creator of all creation. The purpose of this time of separation, which is setting yourself apart for a time of seeking God in place of food or social media or whatever else it may be, um, this, this separation is to awaken, awaken you to who God already says that you are. I don't know about you, but there's nothing as frustrating as having a question but never finding the answer. Wouldn't it be great to have some type of way to find all the answers to your questions? And no, Google doesn't have all the right answers. That's what I tell my uh, middle schoolers. Wouldn't it be comforting feeling um, or knowing that you had complete and total access to the one, um, to the one who was who has not every answer imaginable, but also knows the question even before you ask it. Um, so God is the one with all the answers. He longs to answer all of your questions and um, he would love it if you came to him and asked him for guidance, direction, peace, comfort, confidence, favor. Um, those, are, those are just a few things. So it's so simple. You have not because you ask not. So call on God. The prophet Jeremiah says to call on the Lord and he will always answer you. Isn't that awesome? He will answer you. That means God has every answer waiting for you. Every breakthrough, every blessing, every direction for a new job or business, every property or vehicle that you are looking to purchase, whatever it may be, all you have to do is ask him. How cool is that? There are answers stored up just waiting for you. So don't keep them waiting any longer. Get in the presence of God. Spend time in his word. The more you do, the more your thoughts and intents will align with his. And you'll see and hear the answers that he has, that have always been there. And they'll be revealed to you. So don't wait another moment. Your answers are waiting. So the scriptures for today, Psalm 91, 15, Psalm 121, 2, Psalm 139, verses 1 through 18, Isaiah 30, 18 through 19, Jeremiah 33, verse 3, Matthew 7, verse 7, and James 1 and 5. And Father, I just want to um, ask that you would help us get in your presence, God, and help us remove those distractions maybe that we, we can't see or we're having a hard time um, understanding ourselves, God. We just ask that you would remove those for us so that we can um, get in your presence and hear hear and and know what you what it is that you have for us God and we just ask this in your name be with us this week Father we ask this in your name amen